walking through relative sizes with teams, this is the exercise I usually do. And it, it comes, you know, we'll just kind of walk through a process. And so let's assume right now that I'm the product owner, the general development team. And we're going to build a product together. <coughs> um, this product is not going to be software related, so that way we just kind of take that off the table for just a minute. Um, it applies to software, and I think you'll be able to apply it that easily. But for today's um, product that we're going to build, what I'm looking for is, have you ever seen the little um, garden trinkets? They're like on a stick, the little flowers and things like that. You know, like they spin. And you know, mm -hmm. talk about little wind things. You put them in a the garden. So let's talk about that. That's you're my team, and this is what you build. Now, whether you do it with software, I don't, I don't really care how you do it. But at the end of the day, what I want is some of these this this things that I can stick in my garden. Okay. So I'll give you an idea of what I'm looking for. And since I'm the product owner, you're the team, ask me questions, how, I want you to understand, and then we'll talk about it, you know, how big these things actually are and, and what the expected um, ability is. Okay. So I've been thinking about this, and the f one of the things I want is, you know what a dandelion is, right? that mm -hmm. big puffy thing that you blow and the petals come off. So my first thought around one of these garden flowers is I want one that's just like just like round. It can be flat, it doesn't have to be three dimensional, just just round. It doesn't have to have any moving parts or anything like that. Um so you know so like a flat this. So in from the street you look at it it's you kind of get the feel of oh look that's a dandelion. I know what that's representing. So, um, I want one like that. I also want to be able to stick one in the back of my garden. Um, so maybe if I stick that one in the front. So if I have one for the back, I feel like it needs to be bigger so you can see it from the street. Now, I, I'm not trying to intend the shape here. I just, like, I have a bulb up, so it's round for all intents and purposes. So I want one, same exact thing, just bigger. Another thing that I'm thinking is I, I want my garden to kind of have some reality. So I'd like you to make one that kind of, a, you know, it's a, it's a flower, and I want it to be like a daisy. Then I want one a little bit bigger that is a sunflower. So this one, you know, sunflower has its things. Of course, I can't draw, so you'll have to use your better judgment. Um, but this one here, I want it to spin. So like when the wind blows, I want it to spin. And if the winds blow in the other direction, I want it to blow in the other direction. Um, I have another one that I'm thinking of. I hope you don't want to hydrate you. I don't know that I know what that is. So, but I guess not. Now, this one's like atypical of a flower, right? Because there's not really a flower that's this shape. This one, I do want this shape. But what I'm thinking is it would be so cool if um, it was, I, I'm thinking opaque, kind of like fish scale opaque. You know, like you can see through, but you can't really. So I'm thinking that it's going to have like a bunch of these little pieces. Um, it's going to be made of these fish scale type things. However you create that, it's up to you. I just need that same kind of look. And what I'm thinking of is um, it would be, they would be put together like kind of loose. So I'll tell you what I'm looking for is that when the wind blows, they make this kind of wave motion. So I don't care if you use chain loops or string. I, I don't really care how you do it. Just that's what I want. Um, so then we get this wavy motion in there. Um, I didn't think if there was another. I think for now this will this will do, and then if I have more money, then we'll talk about what's next. So questions? I already see where this is going. Mm -hmm. And I like it. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> you can shovel it some animals like owls and squirrels. Yeah. So do y'all have any questions about these? I don't think so. I mean we could we could dig into like more about how they work, right? I don't yeah. That's, that's usually that's where the developers go. They're like, okay. so, so, what do you want it made of? Mm -hmm. Do you want it made of metal? Do you want it made of glass? How big does it really have to be? So you, 
you care about what colors you use? Um, so they usually ask the typical questions they would ask a product owner, right? You yeah. don't know what to build. Um, and then, oh, there was one more. There is one more. There's one that, um, my favorite one, actually. So this one is a, um, a dandelion. So it's got all these things. I want this one to be three-dimensional round and all these individual pieces that stand out. They don't have to come out when you go in like a dandelion. But I want it to be like the real illusion, three-dimensional, all the way around like a dandelion. So yeah, so they'll start asking these questions and, and talk about what do you want me to do plastic, do you want me to do metal? Like I, they get all kind of questions, yeah. whatever, that's fine. So then once you, just like you would in the software development, environment, once you have a grasp on what it is, yeah. the next step in the, in the thought process, we need to understand and come to a common understanding, the next step in that is, so if I look at this relatively, um, I can look at some of these and say whether or not the, or I can look at all of them, the, there's three key things you're, you're considering in sizing. One is how complex something is, how much risk is involved in doing it, not doing it, or the impact it's going to have to the environment, the customer relationship, things like that. Are we going to even be able to do it? Um, so, and then effort. And when we talk about effort, it's not hours. Effort is the amount of work involved. Is it a low amount of work? Is it a high amount of work? Is it an ungodly amount of work? Is it a, oh, that's three seconds. It's not a big deal amount of work. So anywhere on the scale from all of these, or anywhere on the scale from small, medium, large, maybe it's extra strong, extra large, you've got the kind of concept. So first thought in the process, we walk through these and we decide, we look at those things. So let's pick one. Let's pick this one. When we talk about risk involved in this, High, medium, low, or something else? Low. Low. Low risk? Okay. So we talk about risk is low. Um, let's talk about complexity and effort. What, what's the level of complexity in this, would you say? Same scale, high, medium, low? Low. Low? Okay. What about effort? Relatively speaking, I think low. Yeah. Do you think it's just a little bit of effort, or do you think it's a whole lot of effort? So low? low yeah. okay. I'm gearing towards low because I can already see the other ones. Yeah, okay. right. so yeah but they're relative to one another, yeah. right? So as you start right. looking to them, yeah. you might actually decide that one of these is extra low or extra small. You know, like you, yeah. you can change. So if that one, this one's kind of. It doesn't really matter what these ones are, right? Like the first one doesn't matter. Right, because it's relative. It's, it's a guess. It's, and it's not even, it's really just when I look at that, do I think that's a little bit of effort or a lot of effort? <clears throat> I think it's a little complex or a lot complex. Whether it's compared to something else or not, I mean, I know small, medium, large. So um, here, same thing. So what's this? Risk, complexity, effort. Can you define risk again? Yep. Risk is, so I'll talk about it in the software environment. Okay. So risk in the software environment would be things like, if we don't do this, what's the impact to the customer? Um, it would be, if we do this and we do it incorrectly, What's the impact? Mm -hmm. It could be things like, I'm scared to death to put my fingers in that piece of code because mm -hmm. I know it's going to blow up. Okay. What's the likelihood that we will not be able to put this in production, or if we do, we're going to take the whole system down? Mm -hmm. um, what's the likelihood that we won't even be able to do it because it's too, it's mm -hmm. too risky, it's too complex? Things like that. Um, what's the risk we won't be able to do with this? Okay. Sometimes having dependencies on external teams adds to your risk. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on, yeah, every time we work with them, they never ever give us what we need. There's a risk there. We won't be able yeah. to do this. Why, why is it that we, we fully didn't even consider that when we're doing um, storage points? Well, because it's it's complexity, effort, and risk. Yeah. So dependency, if the dependency adds to the risk, then we need to be aware of it, mm -hmm. to, to know if it's high risk or not. Yeah. Does it actually, so, but how does that impact, like, a, like for a team's predictability and velocity and everything, like, story points are roughly um, comparable to, you know, work units? And, and does, does risk add work units to something? It, um, like, in, in the sense of, like, if we, don't, if we don't do this, what's the impact to the customer? Like, how does that... 
how does that translate to? So if you have something that is relatively no risk mm -hmm. and you're not sure what to do, how careful are you going to be? Okay, less careful. So you're going to inherently take more time, more thought, more all those things and making sure yeah, that yeah. every detail okay. is perfect if it's going to go All right. Out. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. okay. So it adds to the size. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So risk, complexity, effort. We'll just run through these real we'll fast. Thought process. Small, medium, low, medium, high. So I would say low. low. Okay. Yeah. Low, medium, high. Low. Low, medium, high. Maybe lower, medium, but I would okay. yeah. say low. And I'm going quickly because this is not meant to be a, we're going to sit here all day and do this. Okay, low, medium, high. And y'all can just call it low, medium. low, medium. 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 Okay. Low. Okay. And if, that's, if you disagree. I would say medium, but medium? Okay, that's okay. cool. That was easy. See so how easy that was? And sometimes you get in this uh, medium, low yeah. place. That's okay. This is all relative, and it's just so we get the thought process down. High, medium, low. Higher, higher, medium. Medium. I'm going to say low, actually. I'm going to say low, low risk. risk. Yeah, okay. Low risk. So, I'm, I'm having a, a, a difficult time thinking either, because we're think, I'm thinking of flowers here, so I'm thinking of the customer as a gardener. Am I doing this? Am I interpreting this right? Like, so I'm trying to think of, sorry, I'm overthinking this. What's the likelihood will fail? Right. Um, well, those are like supposed to blow not, in the wind, they don't right? They to move. They just, uh, they're stable. Yeah. So this is where your product owner corrects. Oh, off. gotcha. No, okay. they're just stable. Oh, okay. I mean, there could be a likelihood that if the wind blows, okay. the petals will fall out. Which okay. Then no, I would say low. Okay. 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 So low. Okay. Complexity. Medium. Okay. Medium. Effort. Medium. Okay. What about here? Complexity. Effort. Say high. 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 Yeah. Okay. High, high, high. Now, I don't know that unless I have a brand new team, I would walk through this type of exercise for long. But when I first start working with them, I do. Mm -hmm. First spread or so. That way they start to say, okay, now we're getting what we're thinking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what is it here? Low, medium, high? Medium. Medium, okay. medium. Yeah, medium or high? Medium or high? Okay. Probably high. I mean, because if I look at the, the daisy, it's definitely more. Mm. Do you agree, Adam? I agree. Yep. So you want it high? Mm -hmm. This one's the daisy, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And then what's Terrible the effort? My flowers. Okay. So that's the first thought of the thought process. This is really important for the team to understand because if not, they'll default to, well, how many hours is it taking? That's it. Um, understanding complexity, risk, and efforts of all of this. So now the next step in the thought process is. We can look at these now and we can decide as a whole, is this item extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and kind of relative to one another, um, how big are they? So let's start with one. Which one would you like to start with? With Daisy. Okay. S extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, or something else. Medium. Okay. What are the... This extra small, small, medium. You can you okay. can create your own categories. Yeah. It can be three x small. I don't care. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll say small. Small. Okay, that's fine too. Small, medium. Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Is it small or is it somewhere between? Small <coughs> medium? Somewhere between a small and okay. medium. So small, medium. It's not. Yeah. It gives us an idea of relatively yeah. where it is. It's all that matters. All right. So then, what about this one? Medium high? Yeah. Medium? Medium high? Medium high? Yeah. Okay. What about this one? I'd say extra small. Yeah, extra small. Right. Okay. This one's about the same. This one looks the same. What size is this? It's the same. Okay. Extra small? Yeah. Cool. What about this one? Extra large. Yeah. Extra large? Yes. Extra, extra large? 2x? No. 1x? Um, I want to make sure they get that picture too. Okay. Um, and then what about this one? Large. Just large? I agree with that. Regular large. All right. So now that we, relative to one another, we can see what we think um, extra small, extra small, 
small to medium, extra large, medium, high, large. So once we have an understanding of t-shirt size, basically, um, we know how big they are relative to each other. Now we need a way to communicate that relativity um, numerically, just so there's a common understanding of the organization and within right. the team. So the way we do that is we apply for the Fibonacci series. Um, and some teams use 0.5. You may or may not. I'm just going to let that ride. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 20, or 21. It's up to y'all. Um, 40, some use 50. Um, and then usually it's 100. And then something like infinity. So when we look at these, it's still relative, right? So as a company, we have this... The teams, we like them to kind of be kind of close, and by working together, we usually end up about in the same space. But really, so it's, you know, so this might be small, extra small, you know, these might be small, medium, that's, you'll have to figure that out. These might be medium, large, these might be large, extra large, and um, jumbo, whatever. Y'all know your size, you'll figure that out. So the trick is here, so whenever we figure out what's medium, numbers ranging from this to this are medium, so then we have to decide, well, if I have mediums, are they small medium, medium medium, or large medium? So um, let's, let's kind of go from there. Y'all want to start with this one again? Or yeah, is there sure. a better one? Okay, so if this one's small to medium, what number do you think it is? What size? Is the medium range uh, 8 to 21? Or is it? Uh, what would it be on well, your no, team? I guess I, I'm talking to, I guess I'm talking to Adam since they're the ones that are gonna. What would it be on your team if you had a medium sized story? Um, I think eight to twenty one. Do you ever have a medium story that's twenty one points in your sprint? Uh, we never have a story that's twenty one. Okay, so, so then that I think be bigger than medium. I think medium is probably three to five, Somewhere even though that doesn't here. give you much. It's okay. Yeah. It, it's not. It's not intended to be exact. It's yeah. yeah medium is yeah. usually around this area. Yeah, so if so. mediums are in this area, two to eight, three to eight, whatever that is, take a shot at what you think this is. Small to medium. Five. Five. Okay. So if that's a five, this one's medium to high. What size is this one? Eight. Yeah. This one's extra small. What size is that one? One. One. Okay. This one's extra small. What size is this one? I'd say a one too. Still yeah. a one. Okay. This one's large. What size is this one? It's like a twenty. Hmm. Or thirteen. I was gonna say twenty. Yeah, Would you be able to do yeah. this in one spread? See, that's the question that's weird, that gets us, right? Like that. It's not a question of ours. It's a question of if it's too big. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see what spread, you mean. Okay, yeah. And it's two spreads okay. for it. I was interpreting it wrong. It okay, I was interpreting yeah. it. Can we do this in 10 days? It, um, no, yeah, it's, okay. is it too big to fit yeah. in a spread? Okay. Yes. Is it too big to fit in a quarter? Okay, so we know it's not too big to fit in a quarter, yeah. but maybe it's yeah. here. Yeah, I think the trouble that we run into when, when we when we ask the like, is, does it fit in the sprint? Um, my observation is that people think about them working, like okay. one person working yeah. on it. So, so ask I think it that, a, that like I think that, that that sticks us up when, when we start thinking about that. Ask it a different way. Ask, what's the likelihood that we would succeed in completing this yeah. without yeah. breaking it down in one sprint? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So. Likelihood that we could complete this all in one sprint without breaking it down. Higher, I mean, is it something we could or couldn't? Uh, we could, sure. Okay, so then what's the number we think that is? The 13. Okay, so we can complete a 13 in a sprint. It's kind of hard, but we could. Yeah, it sounds we like. could. Okay. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Probably we wouldn't, but we could. So. Okay. So it's it's pretty hot. It's pretty yeah, big. Yeah. Might have to break that one down. What size is this one? 
Yeah, that one looks like that would be like a forty. I think we need some spikes. Uh, yeah. Well, there's a thirty-four as a number too, isn't it? No. Not on our scale that we're using now. Oh. So. That is a Fibonacci. High level guess. Right? We're not trying to be exact. We're not married yeah, to it. Yeah, four, four. It's too big to do in one sprint. Right. We're gonna groom it further anyway, yeah, right? Supposed, it's supposed to wave and yeah. And all that, that stuff. Okay. Yeah, this one's just turning. I understand turning. Okay. I understand waving. Okay. Yeah, so like, let's look at these. In comparison to one another, we've got our two extra smalls at one. <coughs> the next highest is a five. Is there a three time is, is this is this right relatively, considering this is like oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a double, somewhere in the neighborhood of a double, somewhere in the neighborhood of a double? Well, three orders of magnitude, you'll feel like that's the right split. I mean, it might, right. it, it, it might be. I soon when when we said one, I went and I immediately looked back at the oh. other one, and I was like, so is it I was like, I was like, uh oh, I'm not sure that we did that right. But then I looked at it, and I was like, leaves, petals versus like, yeah, I think it's. Is it still hot? I is think this so. One? I think so, but yeah. Adam might not think so, and we can have a discussion about that. Yeah, I mean. I'm almost wondering if that one's ever pointed. Yeah. So is this small to medium or is it hard medium? Uh, well, it's probably. Because your five is dead medium, right? Sure. So is it a medium or is it somewhere between small and medium? I mean, I could be persuaded. Okay. I'm trying to think of it as like an arts and crafts project. Yeah. Okay. And like, oh yeah, I could. Make some petals, and it, it's it's still. So the key here is not to get all bogged down in all the details. Mm -hmm. And I would actually tell you, if half your team says three and half your team says five, call it a five and move on, because it really doesn't matter. Right. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. All it is is a place for us to guess how much we can complete this one. We need right. somewhere to look at it. Um, so okay, eight looks like the right size. So relatively, five to eight. 8 to 13, 13 to 40. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're done. Now, we know, we felt like we would have a hard time doing this in one sprint. We probably need to break it down a little bit more. When we break it down, it may not equal 13. Right, right. Obviously, right. Yep. we probably can't even equal 13 if we try to. Um, it two, is what it two, is. Five, seven, three. There you go. Um, it could actually come up to be 3 eighths. Like, right. you don't know. Same yeah. thing with this. We're well, obviously exactly. going to have to groom this more. We don't understand enough about it. Yeah. I think where you would want to say we need to cease trying to point this because we don't understand it is when you've got two or three people saying it's a 13 and two or three saying it's a 1 and the other saying, no, it's a 5. And we, we can't we're, see we're the perspective. Not, yeah, we don't know enough at this right. point. We need to step back. There's too many unknowns. Let's figure out what's going on. Now, maybe... If, it's, if we determine, oh, we need to go do a spike, okay, well, maybe we just call it really big, and then after we spike it, we can actually then size it. Um, those are decisions you'll have to make. But um, sometimes we just need to talk some more. But um, anyway, just try not to get caught up in the detail. When you feel people calculating and adding and like, eh, stop, just in general, how big is it? Um, yeah. Because it's not, it's intended to not be an exact size. Right. So that's what I usually walk through the teams, and then they begin to understand the thought process. So I need to understand risk, complexity, effort. I need to understand relative size, and then I need to apply a story point to it. So then when we look at something, we say, well, what's the points on this? In their head, they're like, okay, it's this risky, it's this complex, it's this big. Okay, yeah, that's about a small. So small's three. So that, that's what goes on in their head. What I really like about this is so each flower is a story and you outlined all the stories you wanted to groom or point first, first. Yeah. and that for me it made it very you, you saw where this was going uh -huh. as, as, a, as did I I'm like oh okay I know that this these two are going to be very similar to each other we didn't just have, we didn't just point this one once Cherie was done drawing it. Yeah, right. So where your that relativity comes into place in your team, you can do this yeah. two ways. You can take what's in your backlog 
and put it there and now where do these new stories fit? Yeah. Or yeah. you could come back to like, okay, we think this is a five. Okay, cool. What's another story in your backlog that's a five? Right. Yeah. Is it equal? Is it comparable to that or is it bigger no. or smaller? Yeah. And calling it bigger or smaller is a little bit easier because they, they, they can say it bigger or smaller, but they don't want to be like, huh, you know, they don't, you don't want them to get to exact. So is it bigger no. or smaller? Okay, so that's a five. If it's bigger than a five, how much bigger? You know? right. um, so yeah, there's a couple of ways you can do that. Um, and generally, when teams are struggling, we, we kind of pick what is a five. What do we know is always a five? Okay, and then when we're talking about it, we go back to, well, is it like that one, or is it like this three? Or is it like this 13? You know, same yeah. amount of work. The key here is, and we didn't get too many of them here, but um, just because, like, if this is medium, low, medium, you might have another one that's um, low, medium, high, but it still ends up being the same size. Yeah. And it's helping them to understand. So if you are not looking, again, not an exact science. We're not looking for a formula. Everything that's low, low, medium <laughs> is a three. Right, that's and not if it's low, low, high, it has to be more. Like, it doesn't have to be right. more. Right. And you might actually have two of them that are low, medium, high, and one of them's a one of them's a five, and one of them's an eight. Yeah. Because he, because this is relative. Like, well, yeah, that's low, medium, high, but it's still a five, and that one is still bigger. Yeah. And it's an eight. So it's just the understanding. How, when I put my arms around this work, is it that big, or is it this big? Yeah. Can you, do you think you can repeat this? Or yeah. something like it? Yeah. We're just going to play the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then send me the video. Bye. All right, you can cancel it. Oh, cool. thank you. <laughs> so.